Hi makers, in this video we are going to make graphene. Graphene is essentially a single layer of graphite which is composed of carbon atoms and graphene has a lot of good properties like it's the most effective heat transferring material known uh, for humans. Also it is electrically uh, very conductive and is like 100 or 200 times stronger than steel. So how do you make this miracle material? Well I'm going to show you in this video. Let's get started. So to make graphene at home, you will need graphite pencils, gal soap, a stick, a knife, a blender, a scale, a respirator, glasses, ear protection, gloves and a paper plate. First, you want to extract the graphite rods. Do this easily by splitting the pencils with the knife. The wood of the pencils are made up of two halves and usually you can see that one is a bit darker. Split the pencils along this line for the best results. After extracting all graphite, measure them. I have about 31 grams. The ratio is 1 part gal soap to 8 parts graphite. So 31 grams divided by 8 is a little less than 4 grams of gal soap. This is just some I've grounded down. Empty the powdered soap and graphite into the mixer. Add some water and dissolve the soap in it. Then put the lid on. Also, now is a good time to take on your hearing protection. I set the timer for 20 minutes and turned on the blender. In the beginning, your solution will have a light greyish color. But after a few minutes, you will notice it changing to a darker shade. This is because the graphite is split up into tiny graphene flakes, which are very light and can be suspended in the liquid. Near the end of the 20 minutes, I slightly tilted the blender so those bigger chunks of graphite would mix in as well. After the 20 minutes, while wearing all the safety gear, I opened the blender. In this video, I will demonstrate two similar methods of extracting the graphene from the solution. The first is quite time consuming. The idea here is to pour the liquid into a container and wait for the water to evaporate. This can take several weeks. Afterwards, you break up or put the block of graphene into a blender. I think this method gives the best result out of the two methods. Speaking of two methods, the second one is a lot faster. It takes about half an hour. The idea here is to boil off the liquid. Take a piece of baking paper and fold in the edges as shown. Place it on a baking sheet and pour the liquid into the paper. Place the graphene in the middle of the oven and set the baking mode to conventional heating. Crank up the temperature to 150 degrees Celsius to begin with. After 10 minutes I turned up the temperature to 250 degrees Celsius. When all the water has evaporated I took it out. The next step is to scoop up the material and put it in a container. You can break up the pieces into smaller ones, but if you really want to find powder to work with, you can pour it into a blender and mix it for 10 minutes. It is important to seal up the edges with tape and use at least a mask when transferring it because this fine powder is almost airborne. So to show you that this graphene is actually conductive, I've poured some of it onto a foil and placed a console battery's positive terminal on it. When I take an LED and place the cathode on the battery's negative side, you can see that when pressing the anode leg into the graphene, the light gets stronger due to the graphene being pressed together. With this powder, you can make several things. One of them is capacitors. These battery-like components can store a small voltage for a while. Many of these together could give off some serious power. Another thing is graphene rocket engines. Here the graphene helps transferring the heat. If you want a future video on how to make one, like this video. Anyway, that was all for this weekend. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more cool videos and I will see you makers next weekend.